This is a certified hood classic. Family. My boys, we back. Hey, look, y'all just want to say, man, thank y'all for support, man. Y'all have y'all have given me so much support. And and I quite frankly, I just I can't just say enough how much I appreciate it. And you know, I just I, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart. Thank y'all, bro. Thank y'all. Um, also, make sure you guys go to the link in the description and make sure you click the link for the Discord. It's totally free. We have a lot of people over there joining. We play games over there. We watch movies on Friday. It's a complete family over there, man. And it also lets you know when every time I go live, okay? Oh, wow. Hey, okay. my dad's invitation to the party got returned. Grandpa Cotton Hill Hell USA? Bobby, why'd you write this? You know your grandpa lives in Houston. Mom says he's the devil. Peggy, how can you tell Bobby that? I said evil, Hank. How you get devil from that is beyond me. Oh, really? All right, because evil and the devil don't go hand in hand and shit. I know it's going to be somebody out there with just a little freaky ass going to say, well, actually, the devil is and, and evil is the... Uh, shut up. They go hand in hand. I don't want Grandpa at my party. Okay, He's got ugly. big plastic teeth. He screams all the time. His legs don't work. Bobby, never Ooh, make fun of your Grandpa's legs. He lost his shins defending Texas in World War II. Now, son, pick up that phone and invite your granddad to Give your birthday some party. Okay. Right. Show Aren't him some you respect. Glad I didn't say banana. Huh? Huh? This party's boring. Damn. Everybody hates you. Damn. So piss off for Piggy Hill. Bitch. Oh, nothing. Just Hank's father. He's driving in for the party. Oh, Lord, that crazy Cotton Hill. I heard after Hank's mother left Cotton. He married his 16-year-old nurse. Dee Dee is 39, thank you very much. Although parts of her are much younger. Ooh, Peggy Hill. What? What the fuck was that? She was like, oh, Peggy Hill. What the Murder. fuck wrong with you, bitch? What? I got steak. The hell you say? Did you win World War II? This ribeye is for my daddy. Cotton's coming. <laughs> Whoa, ho, if I was you, Con, I'd am scray before he gets here. Yeah, uh -huh. if he finds out you're from Japan, you know. How many times I tell you, stupid? I'm Le Ocean. <laughs> right. He shouldn't have to say it more than one time. Yeah! Happy birthday, Bobby! Oh, Dad, you crazy son of a gun. You really outdid yourself this time. Well, you know me, I'm larger than life. Who wants the first try? <laughs> hey, I ain't mad at him. I ain't even mad at him, bro. That man just got some real good confidence. He said, hey, yeah, you know me. I'm larger than life. Hey, I know that's right. I know that's right. So <laughs> fat ass that. Hey, hey, wife. Well, how long have you been here, Cotton? I didn't notice you. Did it? Come on out here and gab with Hank's wife. Look at here, Hank. God. What you think of your mama's new tatas? Oh, she is not my mother. Hell, we went to kindergarten together. Everybody Damn. thinks your party's cool, Bobby. No, I'm having fun. Your wife divorced you. Damn. Bitch. <laughs> Who the fuck brought that kid? You need to take that nigga home, bro. He is, he is throwing off the party. Tell us your wife divorced you. Like, man having a fun time. He came there, almost ate a steak, was riding a horse. All the kids loved him. And you just had to go remind that man of, of what happened in the past and shit. Come on, bro. Stop being a little bitch. Mr. Khan, I'll have a Mai Tai. What What you think? I work for Hank? Uh, uh Dad, this here is my new neighbor. He's Japanese. No, he's no, not. No, he ain't. He's Laotian. Ain't you, Mr. Khan? <laughs> All right, time to open my what? Excuse you? That's a gun. Uh, a I super knew it. Super squirter. Da -ha, super squirter. There ain't no water toy, Mr. Khan. It's a genuine Winchester 20 gauge shotgun. Shit a real gun. And now Peggy Hill has a real gun. Right. Bobby, you are too young to own a firearm, honey. Did you see that, Hank? Tell your woman to give him back his gun. His woman? <laughs> oh, God. I am my own woman, and don't you forget. Oh, I love the independentness. Somewhere along the way, it just got, it, it turned from independentness and God to 
Ah. There you go. That's ah. cowboy talk. Come on. Hey, let's go bust yeah, open that That's how I've been feeling these days. The independence has just gone from woo to woo. The boy can barely reach it. Now lower the piñata so he has a chance. Come on. Senor piñata. Oh, crap it. Feel it. Oh, what the fuck? Kill it, boy! Nigga. It must be made of kryptonite or something. I guess so. Crying out loud. He gonna shoot it? Good Lord, Cotton. You gave him a loaded shotgun? Well, you don't give a toy without batteries. Come and get your Tootsie Rolls. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, he is, Grandpa. He is lit. Birthday, he is lit. He is lit. He it. He made it fun. Bobby? Come on over here, boy. Take off them pink gloves. That's woman's work. Leave him alone. He's a good helper. No, oh, whatever you say, Hillary. <laughs> Damn, won't start. I guess I'm not going anywhere. Oh, no, no, no. Just pop the hood. <laughs> Hank can fix it in a minute. Mm, don't bother, Uncle Hank. I can't hear the solenoid plunger. You're gonna need a new one. Thanks a lot, girly. She's smart as hell. I can't hear the song no Pound I'm looking but at. The truth is, you're a girl. Hank, we'll have to wait till your gas station opens up in the morning. I guess I'm staying over. I can sleep on the couch, Mom. Well, that'll be just fine. Excuse I've... me for just a second. Mm, she I ain't fucking with it. That ill mannered, foul mouthed old man to spend another moment in my house. Oh, you just don't understand him, Peg. See, he's a big, flamboyant character, like a peacock. He's That's old why school. Men love him. But women don't like his style because you all are like the pea hen, more subdued and drab. You just cannot see your father for who he is. I mean, I get it though, like I get it. There's a happy medium in between how Peggy wants uh, uh, Bobby to be and how Hank's dad is. So like, the good thing about Hank's dad is he's a man's man. That's what I see. Hank's dad is a man's man. Then you got to take it into account. That man been to war, bro. World War II at that. Nigga, like, what the fuck? His, the whole time period at that time is, is crazy. This is a different time period, bro. And in fact, women were actually different in that time period because they had to do different things because men were doing different things. The world was different. So... I'm not when I'm not saying old people are right if they have a racist nature or they have a misogynistic nature or whatever. All I'm saying is a little bit of a happy medium in between how things used to be and how things uh, are now. A happy medium in between that it'd be like, hey, look, sometimes you help out with the chores. Sometimes you don't. Your woman take care of that. But. You handle all the bills. You take all the financial burden off her. You know what I'm saying? So she can do that. That's another thing. You know what I'm saying? It's just a happy medium between whatever y'all like to do is just what's best. You know what I'm saying? Dad, we'd love it if you stayed. Well, all righty. Diddy, we're bunking here tonight. Uh-huh, with your gummy ear ass. Mr. Khan, my bag. Oh. <laughs> what do you say I drive you to school today, Bobby? I hope you're all hungry. Good-looking mm. breakfast, Peg. Yeah, I see bacon. I see ham. I see steak. Sausage! Where's my sausage? There's no sausage! Well, Cotton, you are welcome to march yourself down to the Safeway. But I have to get ready for work. Oh, no, that's see, right. Bobby? Woman works. Man loses his sausage. Oh, damn. You're all skin and bones, girly. Put some corn bone on them hips. Mm. He gave her ass all the eggs. I don't want any grandpa hell. Don't want to get fat. <laughs> That's not for you to worry about. You will never know if you are attractive. It's up to a man to tell you that. You keep eating, and I'll tell you when <laughs> you stop. Bobby. Touch me again, and go be wearing that corn pone, old man. Feisty. Really? <laughs> Boy, but wait a minute. But ain't that ain't well. No, that's not his. I guess technically that's not his people's. But I'm like, I'm, cause I'm, I'm thinking like, wait a minute. Who is Luann to Hank? But that's Uncle Hank. Is that from Peggy's side? I don't know. You sure it's okay for Ruby. me to be out of school today, Grandpa? Oh, yeah. It's a holiday, isn't it? It's Angie Dickinson's birthday. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Missy, how about some sandwiches? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, bro, that's where I draw the line at, bro. You don't go around just slapping, slapping girls' asses that you don't know, man. It's disrespectful, you know what I'm saying? Uh, now, now she give you the cue. I ain't. I'm, I'm talking about girls that don't want you touching them. Now she give you the cue. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, y'all boys know what I'm talking about. She give you the cue. She all up in your face, bro. You know what I'm saying? You unspoken ribs to ribs up. You know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all out. Maybe y'all drinking. Grab a little ass, man. It's what it is. <laughs> At the club, it's different. Well, that's the dangest <laughs> thing. I never heard of a solenoid just disappearing before. I fixed it, Uncle Hank. Damn, she's pretty damn good. Oh, she purred. She's like, dang old kid. Yep, my dad sure knows how to take care of his cars. Your dad, I swear. How about when he took us down to the Hotel Arlen? <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember that, Hank? The fuck? Hank, you won the big game. So, I'm buying you and your friends hookers. I Damn. Hey there, Mr. Quarterback. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that poor friend. Not every dad would do something like that to his son. I, I mean, for his son. What well, has oh, it come yeah. with the car? No, you know what monkey? it is. That's real funny, Peg. Look what I found. Wait, that that's a solenoid. Where'd you find that? In Cotton's room, wrapped in his little bitty pants under a big pile of lies. Damn it, I killed a whole day fixing that car. I don't understand. Oh, Hank, what is to understand? Your father disfigured his own automobile just so he could stay here and drive me crazy. What's the point? I think he, I don't know. I think he just, he want to be around family. I think having that attitude, having that mindset all the time is draining to him and the people around him. And I don't think he can sustain that for a long period of time. Point in arguing. The car is fixed now. He'll be out of here tonight. What in the hell no, is going ain't. on here? No, you won't. Where are your pants? We were hot. Took them off. A man doesn't have to wear pants around the house if he doesn't want to. Yeah, what you got them blue jeans yeah. on for, Hank? Let's go. Take them off. I don't want to take them off. Bobby, take your daddy's pants off. What? Okie dokie, Cotton. Hank fixed your car. I guess you'll be wanting to head back right away. She, the old babe in the back just look like, don't talk to him. Don't say nothing to me, bitch. She will go off. Right now. Peggy. Well, um, maybe we should think about getting back, huh, honey? What did you say? What oh. did you say? Okay, ah, uh, now, what did you say, baby cakes? We can leave! <laughs> Hank fixed the car! Actually, Luann fixed it. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Hank's I literally thought he was gonna do something else, y'all. I think, I think that was the By joke. A woman fixing a car. That's like a pig trying to read. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I guess you can go home now, Dad. Nah, I don't think so. We're gonna stick around a few more days. Supper time, Colonel. You forgot my beer. Go on, get me my beer, woman. Mom, I'll take my dinner in here too. <laughs> he, he own it, Bobby. Own it, boy. You we eat our dinner in the kitchen. Boy wants his dinner in here. Well, we eat in the kitchen. Here. Kitchen. Here. Kitchen. Here. Hank, for God's sake, I need a little support here. <clears throat> well, Golly. Peggy, uh... Hank, grow a pair. This is your house. It might be nice for a change to have Look, dinner sweat. in front of, uh, <laughs> the TV. Well, go on, woman. Get me my dinner. <gasps> well, hey, now. I don't know hey. where you got the idea you could slap your mother's behind. I'll tell you where he got the idea. Your father. And it's all your fault no, literally. for nipping it in the bud. What no, do you literally. want me to do? I can't change my father. Well, he certainly won't listen to me now, will he? You're both men. You're both peacocks, remember? What Peacock. are you, turning into some kind of feminist? I am not a feminist, Hank. I am Peggy Hill, a citizen of the Republic of Texas. I work hard, I sweat hard, and I love hard. And I gotta smell good and look pretty while I'm doing it. Okay. So I comb my hair, I reapply lipstick 30 times a day, I do your no. dishes, I wash your clothes, and I clean the house. Not because I have to, Hank, but because of a mutual unspoken agreement that I have never brought up because I am too much of a lady. 30 okay. times a day? 
Nigga, nigga stuck on that, but she just told your ass some low key, boy. Yeah, I kind of like it here. What kind of work can a guy get in this town? Uh, are you allergic to asbestos? Hell no. Hey, Dad. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Hell no. Hey, the old grease monkey. <sighs> All right, Dad. I need to talk to you about some of the things you've been telling Bobby. I've been telling Bobby a lot of things. For example, I told him how I lost my shins defending our country. You want to <laughs> hear that story, Fatty? Sorry, yes, sir. Bill, I'm trying to talk to him. I was 14. I think I, I think I think Bill was in the military and shit, so he would that would be his ranking officer. I guess I don't know how that works. But I knew Uncle Sam needed me. So so sir, I yes, sir. And signed up. And we had beat the Nazis in Italy. And they shipped us to the Pacific Theater. Oh A shit. Torpedo sent our troop ship to the bottom. Damn. I could only save three of my buddies. Fatty. Stinky in Brooklyn. They were kind of like you fellas, only one of them was from Brooklyn. Out of the sun came a Tojo Zero and put 50 bullets in my back. Damn! The attracted charge. I had to give him fatty. Uh. Then things took a turn for the worse. I made it to an island, but it was full of Tojos. They were spitting on the U.S. flag, so I rushed them. But it was a trap. They opened fire and blew my shins off. <laughs> Last thing I remember, I beat them all to death with a big piece of fat. <laughs> I woke up in a field hospital, and they were sewing my feet to my knees. Now, what was it you wanted to talk to me about, Hank? <sighs> uh, well, <laughs> yeah, what well, could you say after a story like that? <laughs> uh, he saved America. Let's go. Thank you, my boy. See a man about it's a bunch horse. of lies, but thank you. Bobby, don't forget to bust your tray. Ah, that's woman's work. <gasps> no, don't do right, it. Fellas? Women's work. Women's work. Women's work. Women's work. Women's work. Bro, it's a girl in the background talking about some women's work. Women, that's you, bitch. Ah, <laughs> uh, he just started a food fight. Tripping, bro. You tripping. Strickland propane. Bobby was sent home from school for starting a sexist riot today. What? I'm coming home right now. Well, you're just a little too late because the devil took Bobby off to the Hotel Arlen. Hotel oh. Arlen? What? Gonna get him some poo tang. It probably ain't how he remember it. Bobby, I'm proud of you for what you did at school today. So I'm buying you a hooker. Go ahead, pick yourself out a live one. I don't think they have hookers no Bobby, more there. Get over here now. But Grandpa said I Bobby, can... you heard your mother. Get over there. What are you saying, Hank? Are you siding with your woman? Look at me, son. Look at my shins. <laughs> Look, Dad, I'm sorry about fatty and your shins, but I'm not a kid anymore. Bobby is my boy. Yep. And I won't let him grow up to be a woman hating old right. school. No wonder Mom left you. She was a strong lady, classy and smart like Peg. Maybe you couldn't handle that, but I can. My marriage is a partnership of equals. Peggy might do all the housework, but there are a lot of other things that I'm supposed to do, but I'm not going to say what they are because I'm a gentleman. Oh, I get it. She's making you say this. You're just her puppet. No, Dad, I'm saying all this because I mean it. Now, right. Didi's out in the car. I That's a real man. Saying how he feels, meaning what he says, bro, and sticking to it. No matter what people have to say. I mean, I mean, sometimes you can modify what you say because it's, being a man, bro, you got to understand when you're wrong. All right? I don't think Hank was wrong. I don't. <clears throat> if that's how his relationship is set up, that's how his relationship is set up. Hank don't come in and tell him how to handle his, his woman. He just said what he saw with, with his mother. He saw something different with his mother, so he spoke on it. But he don't go in other people's houses to tell them how to handle their woman. So don't come in his house trying to tell him how to handle his. Eh, unless she's whooping his ass. And she's not whooping his ass from what I can tell. I had her pack up. It's time for you to head home. Damn. Well, I never thought I'd see the day when my own son would stop loving me. What? Oh, okay. He's a narcissist. He is definitely a short midget narcissist. It's about time. Love for sissies. Ain't that right, you house full of hookers? Oh. 
They're going to beat your All ass. Right, hookers, listen up. I'll be back next year, so don't be jacking up your prices. I'll be staying over to Hank. Hey, that, that black lady was right. She was like, you know what? You know what? Felicia, let me just calm down. Calm down, Felicia. He a short man. He was just one knee in the face. It would just take one knee. Kills home. <laughs> Look at his fist. Her ass come from the magic Bobby, school you gotta bus, try bitch. And forget all that gobbledygook your grandpa told you. You listen to your mother. She knows best. But she's a woman. How could she know better than grandpa? Well, because she's a lot smarter than him, for one. Your mother's probably got a better head on her shoulders than anybody in Arlen. Peggy's my best friend, son. Right. Mom? That's right. And when you're older, I hope you're lucky enough to find a girl to be best friends with, too. You think that'll really happen to me? Well, it won't if you keep slapping them in the butt and ordering them around. You'll do okay. You just have to remember one thing. Women were not put on this earth to serve you and me. Now, what do you say we get an ice cream? What? 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 <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Oh, you thought I had something to say there. I, no, nah, I mean, no, nah, I, mean, I have nothing to say. I mean, you know, whatever. I mean, that's how I feel. I, th I thought women were supposed to be a helpmate. Help mate to the man. <laughs> look at, look at, I can feel the, I can feel the cancel. No, I'm just talking shit. I'm really just talking shit. I just feel like, bro, men and women are meant to help each other, bro. Like, it's, you know what I mean? Like, men and women are meant to help each other. Um, I feel like a man should lead. He should lead. But that being a good leader doesn't mean that you, being a good leader, you know how to take a step back sometime and let the best person handle a certain situation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Women are definitely better than just cleaning up in the house and making dinner, bro. There is a lot of things that you can actually do with your partner, man. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's plenty of things that women and men are good at together and good at equally. I mean, uh, apart. They're good. There's there's a lot of things. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. I mean, well, I don't know why you still look why I why did, why, Come on, now. There's only two seconds left in the thing. Can we watch it? Thank you. That's all I wanted. God, like, why are you staring at me? You, th you thought I had something to say to get me canceled? I, I think not.